Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Um, I usually try and sit through the movies I watch. This one, I couldn't. I made it maybe an hour in, and I just couldn't get into it. And that is Hostiles. Hostiles is a film that I was really interested in seeing for one reason. Christian Bale. Christian Bale is hired to uh, take this woman back home. That's pretty much it. Along the way, there's Indians and bad guys. That's basically the plot of the entire film. But just in case I didn't make it clear enough for you, I'm going to go to IMDb and if it's not too complicated with like the actual like Indian names or whatever, then I'll read the actual um, synopsis from IMDb. But as I'm looking it up, this film is a very slow, slow western. To be honest with you, I don't like westerns that much at all. You are very lucky that I even care for, um, let me look for it here. Now, I really care for only a couple westerns. One western I really love is Django Unchained. I like The Hateful Eight. I don't love it. I gotta give it one more final watch, but just uh, at two hours and 46 minutes of Django Unchained and Hateful Eight, two hours and 48 minutes. I highly doubt I'll be watching those movies over and over again. Um, this film I will never probably finish. Um, Christian Bale is really good in it. Don't get me wrong. He is really good in it. Really, really good. Here we go. In 1892, a legendary army captain reluctantly agrees to escort a Cheyenne chief and his family through dangerous territory. So he's basically taking this uh, chief and his family home to their homeland while uh, just taking this girl with them. The girl is played by Rosamund Pike. What happens to her and why she is all alone is because she has almost her whole family killed. I don't know if her baby made it out or not. She was carrying the baby. I don't know if the actual baby made it. Maybe she's just carrying it around or something like that. But maybe she did bury it. I don't know. Oh my god. I'm tired. But anyways. Bad idea to shoot this late. But who cares. Um, hey Jesus. Yeah. Uh, we have a um, Jesus thing up, up on top of where I'm shooting. I get distracted. What was I freaking talking about? Oh yeah. How she uh, is alone, why she's alone, is because these Indians who were trying to come and get their horses, to get the horses from Rosamund Pike's family, uh, end up killing their two daughters, killing and scalping her husband, that was a very interesting scene. I've never seen a scalping scene. I was expecting it to be a little bit more graphic, but I'm glad they didn't go for it. Um, they go for it, believe me. They go for it. I'm just so glad they didn't uh, go so far with it where it just became too realistic. If you know what I mean. Like, uh, I've heard of this one film that has a scalping scene in it where it like where they completely scalp his whole entire head take the sharp thing and just scrape back and it's mm. this film goes for it a little bit but when it's not with the action scenes just the dialogue does not work 
it keeps you intrigued for the first 15-20 minutes after that after you find out the plot of the film it gets dreadfully boring until the action scenes hit like I already said the action scenes are very well handled um, very well shot <clears throat> and actually very well crafted action scenes for westerns uh, this is your stereotypical um, western film except I was really happy to see a western where there was no sex and no nudity that happens almost all the time in the westerns I watch especially these rated R ones I mean there's uh, nudity in Django and there's nudity in The Hateful Eight um, what was that one I watched American Cowboys vs. Aliens oh my gosh that film Billy just whap 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 really then her pew and bullets just started spraying from her nipples I'm like what the hell this film was okay I, I as you can tell I'm just trying to get through this review if I made you laugh great if I didn't then I apologize this is a film that I don't really care for the only reason it's not a horrible film is because of Christian Bale Christian Bale and Rosamund Pike do a decent job in here Christian Bale doesn't do a bad job in a movie he's done some bad movies but uh, this one is definitely one of his bad ones. It at two hours and seven minutes for a western, I just can't see it. For a western to intrigue me, you actually got to have an amazing story, keep me intrigued throughout the whole entire thing, by having uh, something like um, twists and turns and more violence in it maybe a little bit of humor they try and throw a couple jokes here and there but they just don't work for for the within like the first 35 minute mark I believe they had a little joke in there that it just didn't work um, they used natural lighting as well which was very great um, I'm going to give Hostels a D. I didn't really care for it, but it was a very intriguing film for the first 15, 20, 25 minutes. With great acting throughout all that I saw from Rosamund Pike, or Rosamund Pike, however you say it, and Christian Bale. So, Hostiles. I got one more review coming to you from this recording session. I was looking on my Kindle, and I found a movie from WWE Studios that I have not seen, that I don't own. Uh, this has Adam Copeland, who plays, uh, or who was Edge in WWE. It also has C.J. Perry, who most people know uh, from such films as Pitch Perfect. She was in Pitch Perfect. Now she is Lana, the ravishing Russian Lana, who is married in real life to Rusev. Which, by the way, happy Rusev Day. Happy Rusev Day to all the wrestling fans out there. And if you're not a wrestling fan, well then, happy Rusev Day. Rusev will not have a happy Rusev Day on Friday, but... The next film I will be reviewing, the last film of the night, will be Interrogation. I've watched, what is this, the first... Let me just mute this and everything. Uh, did I literally just... I was about to say, that would have pissed me off. I'm in the first four minutes of the film, and I am liking it. So stay tuned.
for my review of Interrogation. Tomorrow, the two reviews I can promise is Avengers Infinity War and A Dog and Pony Show.